so hi guys and it is the part 3 of the Cisco packet tracer tutorial so last time we had labeled all of these um, devices and the the interfaces so today's video we are configuring it finally we are configuring the um, all of them to connect to have a successful connection so um, let's get started so the first thing you'll need to do is to select the router and then go to config so let me just remind you that you need to turn on that one in case you forgot so go to the config tab so guys we are not using the CLI so in case you want to know how to use how to configure everything using CLI make sure to watch my video I will leave a link in the description for that playlist so enough for that let's just go to the config so by the way this is the iOS command line interface and that is the CLI and go to the config tab and then go to the fast ethernet go go to the fast ethernet as you can see fa0 slash 0 and that is the fast ethernet 0 that 0 so select an IP address so we had labeled an IP address so that is the good thing about IP address so we had la of labeling IP address I'm sorry for that so we have already labeled so we can now just copy that so 192 copy this thing into here so yes you know 192.168.0.1 um, and then the uh, subnet mask is automatically automatically generated and then turn the port status on and do the same thing with uh, also, uh, if you close that select the router 0 again and then go to the serial port 0 slash 1 slash 0 and this serial port must be that is the serial port so as you can see that is the serial port so that we have to conf to have an IP address for that so we have already labeled an IP address so just copy that thing right here so 192.168.2.1 and then click the subnet mask or just press tab on your keyboard and then turn this the, the port status on and also for this router right here do the same thing as you did on the router with zero so in the router one do the same thing so fast ethernet so that must be you know and this must be the same that must be the same so 192.168.2.1 and send the subnet mask and turn this uh, turn the port status on and go to the serial port as you can see right there go in that and as you can see 0 0 slash 1 1 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 that 0 so that is the same port that we are um, you know talking about so 192 so just the same as the serial serial uh, IP address just you know copy that thing 192.168.2.2 and then the subnet mask is the default or it will automatically generate it and then turn the port status on and as you can see all of red all this red circle or dots is turned into green so so that is the uh, a good you know good sign so as we try to connect this one into this 
so as you can see it's successful but you can change the clock rate of the serial port so as you can see the clock logo right there so as you can see a clock there so you, you can change a clock I mean a clock clock rate so you can change the clock rate and that clock so so in if if your clock is right here as you can see there's no clock so just select where is the clock belongs and then select this um, serial zero so it is the serial zero slash one slash zero so you can select zero slash one slash zero and then click this clock right right here click that and go on that find the 64,000 and then that's that's all so we have successfully connected these two routers as you can see two successful router connection right there and if we try to connect this one this router zero into the PC one as you can see PC one has no functional port so make sure to uh, have an IP address for that so just select that computer and then go to the conf I mean desktop and IP configuration and IP address for this computer as we already labeled it so prefer to the thing right there and 192.168.1.2 and then that subnet mask and the default gateway is must be the same because it is your only gateway which is the fast Ethernet port 0 slash 0 so refer to that thing right there so that is basically the importance of labeling so in order to avoid confusion so 1.1 1 .1. and close that and do the same thing with the PC 0 desktop IP configuration and IP address must be prefer like that and the default gateway must be that because this is the fast Ethernet 0.0, .0. so just basically do that 192.168.0.2 I mean free uh, I mean two. F sorry for that. I got confused. And then one nine two dot one six eight dot um zero dot one. So <coughs> as you can see, the default gateway is this fast Ethernet port, and then the IP address as we label it. Label it last time. sorry for that guys so um, as you can see we connected this computer <laughs> it, it didn't say no functional port so just send packets as you can see successful at the same time as this computer successful as you can see that but if we try to connect this PC zero into this PC one is failed. The connection is failed. So we can fix that. But I think that's it for this video, guys. And in case you found it interesting and useful, please continue watching for the last part of the tutorial, which is how to IP route or static routing. So I'm going to have to um, tell you. So static routing. So stay tuned and basically click the link in the description below. And if you did not subscribe to my channel yet, I have to say be sure to subscribe. So thanks for watching. Make sure to continue watching. See you on my next video.